Good morning everyone. So we are starting a six week challenge from today um, and the six week challenge obviously is hula hooping. So what we're going to be doing is in our weekly adult fitness classes, we're going to be setting everyone a weekly task uh, to go home with their own hoops and practice at home for seven days a week, only 10 minutes per day. Um, but we're gonna try and do this for six weeks leading up to Christmas and to the end of our class block, which will take us into sort of the first, second week of December. Uh, so it's a little challenge for us all just to, to improve our hoop skills, improve our fitness. Um, those that want to, we can also measure our waist and see how much uh, we can lose. Um, actually, you'll be really surprised how much you can lose from your waist in the terms of inches if you do actually hoop every day just for 10 minutes. And obviously, if you're coming to our adults classes as well for that hour a week, then it will help as well. So I'm just going to go through the quick technique for those of you that are following maybe from home and are not coming to the classes, just to make sure that you can hoop properly and safely and that it's it, most effective for you. So I have posted a video, um, on, it was from YouTube, it was a little while ago that I did it. Uh, it is on our Facebook page and it does go through the technique as well if you want to refer back to that video. But for those that are just tuning in now, so technique to this, um, there is a knack to it, okay? So first of all, I'm just gonna show you something actually. I've got a little mini hoop here. Sorry, one second. I just thought I'd grab it to show you the difference. So some people come to our classes and say, oh, I can't hula hoop, I've never been able to hula hoop, not since I was a kid. Okay, well firstly, are you doing it with a kid's hoop? Because if you are, there's no way you're gonna be able to do it if you are an adult, because have a laugh at me now. Look at this, it only just fits over me. <laughs> um, yeah. No chance at all, right? Now the reason being, look how small this hoop is. How fast do I have to go if I want that hoop to spin around my body? Um, it's, it's just nearly impossible. Obviously kids are half our size, so those hoops are perfect for them, but not for adults, okay? So, adult hoop, <laughs> much easier. I don't have to move that quickly. So feet are gonna be nice and wide for this. Uh, always start with the feet wide, opposed to narrow, because that's really hard. So feet wide, now you've got to be standing upright, now your hoop has to be completely flat as well, because if you start up here, okay, you throw it up, it's just going to go over your face, hit you in the nose or something, so nice and flat, I always explain this to kids, as in keep it like a table, imagine you've got something on that table, you don't want it to fall off, so you don't want it slipping down, you don't want it coming up. So nice and flat, then power up with the arms, okay, and you're gonna push your body into the hoop. So you're gonna power up the arms, push, and then you're gonna push it around in your best direction. Now, when you release it from your arms, you have to get that hip motion in straight away. So you have to get that rhythm, like the minute you let go of the hoop. So once you push it off, you notice my hips are quite quick. It's a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, the rhythm is really, really important because look what happens if I lose the rhythm with my hips. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the hoop if I lose my rhythm. So the rhythm is key, okay? It is quite energetic, so if you're not used to this, just let it go for a couple of rotations, then stop. Start again, okay, then stop. Instead of having to keep picking up the hoop from the floor, it's better to do it like that. Just get it round for a few rotations and then stop before you start again. And the more you do this, the better you will become, the longer the hoop will stay up. So just concentrate on that rhythm and obviously don't hunch it, okay? Don't come forward, standing up nice and tall, keeping the shoulders down, the elbows up, don't let them bash into the hoop. And be strong with the upper body as well, you can help spin that hoop around. But as you can see what I'm doing with my upper body, I'm pushing that hoop around. Um, it does take practice. For those of you that have never done this, um, it will take a little bit of time. You're just gonna have to keep at it. But I promise you, if you keep at it and you follow the challenge through in six weeks, if you manage to do this for 10 minutes per day, then you will get this and you will be really good. So challenge this week, okay? Just start with the basics. So the basic waist hooping that I've just showed you, just try for 10 minutes. 
If you can, and you've done this before, then you can also do it on the other direction. Uh, so you do five minutes on your best direction and five minutes on your opposite. If you're new to this, then I would just say, just concentrate on that best direction at getting that then next week we'll try it on the opposite direction. So let me know how you get on with this. Um, it'd be nice to know if anyone else is doing it with me. <laughs> um, but those that are coming to the classes this week, we have starting tomorrow, 11.30am uh, at the Solent Hotel in Whiteley with Emily. Then we have Wednesday, 6.30pm at Holy Rood Church in Stubbington, again with Emily. And Fairham College uh, Dance Studio on Saturday morning at 10am with moi <laughs> so i will look forward to seeing a lot of you then and emily will see you all this week if you're coming to her classes so yes let us know how you get on and i will um be back on here next week with the second challenge for week two see you later and have a good day everyone